Okay, so this just arrived from the Cube Depot. It is is the mirror blocks. Now th this you can tell is somewhat of a three by three mutation of some sort. So unlike a three by three, you have colors that define a uh, shape, a piece, a corner, edge, or center. But on the mirror blocks, you don't have those colors. So you have to tell it by the shape. So, like this one right here. And compared to this big corner, that is right here. So you have to tell it by the shape. So I figure out how to solve it by myself, and it's not really that hard. It took me a couple of times to experiment. So when you mix it up, it gets all jumbled up. I'm just doing a checker pattern here. And that's what the checker pattern looks like on the mirror blocks, or some people call it mirror bump. I would say that this, um, the manufacturer of this puzzle actually used a uh, concept of other puzzles. So, like, it turns like an evil twin, 3x3 three three or 4x4, four four, as you see right there. It uses the same exact um, solving style as the golden cube, which is basically a skew ultimate. And of course, it involves the 3x3. Three three. So, let's look at the insides. And that should be easy to take out. Maybe it's because I don't have the tensions on high. So, here's an edge. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And he, yeah, here's an edge piece right here, and the corners are normal three by three, and when you put it in, it's sometimes pretty hard to put back in. Ugh. There. So it moves like an evil twin, and these center caps, sometimes they just keep on falling off. Like when I'm in the middle of solving it, it sometimes just falls off. Whoops. Move the camera a little bit. There. Okay. And the corner cutting, it depends on which piece you are. It's relatively good at corner cutting. Cut about a piece. Right there. And it can't cut like... Oh, whoa. It, I got, it could cut like that. Whoa. Yeah, it depends on which piece you're trying to cut. It has somewhat of an insane cutting ability like the V-Cube 2. And so, this is the mirror blocks, and these stickers, as you can see, probably, yeah, right there. They're already got, like, fingerprint marks on it. So, I wonder if I can, like, um, get some stickers from Cubesmith. Yeah, I don't know about that. So, there are the mirror blocks. And... Yeah, I like to use it as a mirror, somewhat, to look at myself. So, there are the mirror blocks, or the mirror bump cube, and I'm not sure what the manufacturer is because Eric never stated it on his website. Okay, so I guess that's the end of the mirror blocks review, so that's it for now, so bye.